On this Mental Health Awareness Month, we've been highlighting our community's efforts to tackle psychological disorders. But what causes those issues and what's going on at the molecular level? KCAL News reporter Rena DeCano shows us how scientists at UCLA are using brain mapping to better understand our mental health. UCLA scientists are studying what was once impossible. Human brain and uh, universe, these are two of the most mystery things in science. Dr. Hong Wei Dong is tackling one of those mysteries, the brain, with the help of 3D laser imaging and AI. Thanks to this new technology, researchers here are able to take a deeper look at the brain at a faster pace and more accurately. He's making brain maps. Essentially, we create a Google Maps for the brain. Let's say the destination is an action, like walking. Tiny cells have to pass through these roads to send instructions on what to do. But if there's traffic, construction, or a break in the road, you will not be able to walk. This new technology is able to see what's causing those breaks. They are toxic. Graduate student Mitchell Rudd has family members who suffered from neurodegenerative diseases. It felt like the life being sucked out of him. That's why he joined Dr. Dong's lab. Brain mapping is essential in studying diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, but now it's also used to better understand our mental health. Brain maps show those who suffer from depression and anxiety also have breaks in their brain cells. First, we want to look at exactly which part of a brain which cells, how their connection get disrupted, and then if we can develop new drugs, can recover their connections, then that will help their mental health. For psychiatric disorders, Dr. Dong says maintaining a healthy lifestyle and social connections can help regenerate some of those cell connections. But with more brain mapping research, they'll have a much better understanding of not just brain health and mental health, but of health overall. Just the fact that it does touch so many different fields, we can make that broad scope impact and build upwards from whatever finding we have. In Westwood, I'm Rena Nakano, KCAL News.